Pagbabalik ko ang programang Boses ng Bayan. Sa nga lang po ng aking partner si Benny Balik Dem. Ito pa rin po si Mel de la Cruz. At siyempre ho ngayong oras na ito. Katatapos lamang po natin ibalita ang mga balita at informasyon mula po sa iba't ibang dako ng ating bansa. At mabayin po natin mga field reporters o BBM field reporters mula po Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao. At ngayon ho, This is my uh, lucky day. Okay, siyempre. Ang nag-iisang uh, rose ho ng <laughs> I think sa mga director po ng NCMF, National Commission on Muslim Filipinos. Kagalakan ho natin na makasama po ngayon ang uh, Director 4 o Director 4 of National Commission on Muslim Filipinos o NCMF. Uh, si Director Saleha Sakar. Okay, siya ho ay kagalakan natin makasama po ngayon sa boses ng bayan para ho kami ho ay magkaroon ng uh, kunting discussion kung ano ho kahalaga ang uh, opisina ng NCMF or kung paano ho uh, uh, the national government created the National Commission on Muslim Filipinos. Director Saleha, it's an honor that you are here in our program. Kumusta ho kayo? Maraming salamat po, uh, boses ng bayan, Sir Opo. Mel. Yes. Uh, maram, una sa lahat, mara, magandang gabi sa ating uh, mga tagsub, taga-subaybay Opo. Uh, here in the Philippines and in international. Uh, magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, okay. Uh, anyway, sige po, tuloy ho tayo at uh, maybe nagtataka ho kayo kung bakit ho ganun ho ka 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 you know ka galda ang ating uh, bisita ho ngayon si director uh, si director of NCMF si uh, director Saleha it is because you no know, we have to preserve the beauty that Allah or our God has given kaya nga ako nananatili din ho akong uh, ano ho magandang lalaki <laughs> para sa inyo anyway kagalakan namin muli ano uh, director Saleha that i know that you represent the NCMF Uh, intended for the people to understand uh, ano ho nga ba ang ginagawa ng NCMF but before that our tanong ho ngayon mga kababayan how did the national government created the NCMF or the National Commission on Muslim Filipinos how important it is uh, para ho sa ating bansa director please uh. yes uh, that is a very good uh, question the topic Opo. is actually very interesting mm-hmm. especially that the muslims are minority here in the philippines mm-hmm. um but apart from uh, being a minority going back in the history of the philippines okay. the first settlers of the philippines were uh, were islam or mm-hmm. The, mm-hmm. the those uh, believers of islam before we were christianized um and then um uh, Okay so I you you have you you ask me about uh, how did the national government yes, so. created the national commission on muslim filipinos mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Una sa lahat thank you for asking these questions dahil marami sa atin ang nagtatanong why is there an office for muslim for Opo. muslim filipinos and okay. why why is that wala po sa mga uh, non-muslims Okay um Uh, a while ago, as sinabi ko na po, na in the history, um, mm-hmm. Islam po ang first religion natin here in the Philippines. But uh, in uh, the state of declaration of policy, in the declaration of policy pursuant to Republic Act 1997, okay. it states that it is henceforth the policy of the state to ensure the rights and well-being of Muslim Filipinos with due respect to their beliefs, customs, traditions, and institutions as well as being mm. as well as to further ensure their contribution to the national goals and aspirations and to make them active participants in the nation building. Okay, but Bapa. going mm-hmm. back to that um before uh, the the NCMF once in uh, was actually Uh, the former office of muslim affairs okay po okay allow me to il- allow me to expound on that okay oh, I- elaborate natin no mm-hmm. we have the moro affairs under the philippine rule so in the history in 1954 the philippine congress okay created the special committee and appointed and this was headed by the then late senator dumukaw alonto then 
Republic Act uh, 1888. Mm -hmm. In 1957, the Commission on National Integration was created, followed by the the creation of the Philippine Amana Bank okay. in 1973. Ayun, okay, ang ganda. So okay. that is actually um, the the sequence before Opo. nagkaroon tayo ng NCMF. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, let me continue. Sige po. Uh, then, the Muslim Code Commission organized to draft the first Philippine Sharia Law okay. on persons, properties, Opo. and family relations, mm -hmm. which is now the Presidential Decree 1083. Okay. And then in 1975, okay. the the uh, Commission on National Integration was dissolved. This was followed by the creation of Presidential Decree mm -hmm. 1302 in 1978, okay. which created the Philpa or what we called Philippine Pilgrimage Authority. Okay. This as mm -hmm. these are actually salient points that um, the the public must know because hindi po natin alam way back may mga ganito palang office which was created already by the national government. Okay, you are explaining to us, uh, Director, kung ano ang history o paano nagsimula yes. na nagkarmula noon no 1970s up to now na nabuo na po itong tinatawag natin National Commission on Muslim Filipinos that That's we are right. so happy na ito ho ay uh, nagkaroon na po ng isang malawakang programa para ho in coordination with the programs uh, of the national government para ho mag-represent sa kabuuan po ng 15 million Muslims tama ho ba yon yes. sa ating bansa or Islam sa ating bansa yes Sige then po. after the creation of the Philpa okay in uh, uh, in um 1987 Okay. Uh 1987 as of January 30, 1987, Opo. the president at that time um, issued an executive order uh with the number 122 a creating the Office of the Muslim Affairs. Okay, that was 1987. Yes. Okay, after Ensa Revolution ho yan. Yes. Oh, sa panahon noon na uh, ni Corazon yeah. Aquino. Yes. The late president. At okay. that time, uh that was the NCMF. Okay, doon ho na itayo ng NCMF o no, doon na no. Okay. Um uh, uh first uh, the uh the Office of Muslim Affairs was okay. created by this executive order okay. prior to the re enactment of Republic Act 1997. Okay. Okay, so allow me to continue with Please. that. Please. Uh para mas maganda ang ating discussion. <laughs> yes, uh, it's an the, order. The Republic Act 1997 was mm -hmm. enacted by the Legislative Department mm -hmm. as of July 27, 2009, which is the defunct of the Office of the Muslim Affairs and instituted the National Commission on Muslim Filipinos. Mm -hmm. So, na, na defunct ng enactment ng batas natin, which is the RA 1997, okay. otherwise known as the NCMF law, then the law instituted the National Commission on Muslim Filipinos. Okay. Yun. Yun po. Okay. Anyway, napakaganda ho mga kaibigan. We have to know the beginning for us to understand about the ending of any anything that we have to, uh, you know, to study. Kasi napaka-importante ho na bakit ho nagkaroon ho ng halimbawa, and sa revolution, anong naging dahilan? Bakit ito nagkaroon ho ng ganitong klaseng opisina? Ano ho ang sinimulan? Ngayon, we have to ask our uh, beloved director, papaano ho o sino ho ang nasa likuran ngayon kung tayo ho ay magpa-fast forward? Okay. Papaano ho naging NCMF ito? And then we will elaborate later on ano ang gampanin o mga gagampanan o ginagampanan ng NCMF. Okay. So, so ngayon, who are the senators behind in... Uh, uh, you know, uh, approving, okay, o nagsagawa ho ng, uh, ng uh, pagsasabatas at ma-implement ho na ilagak na po, ilagay na po sa national government ang NCMF para magkaroon na din ho kayo ng sarili ninyong circulation of service and performance and duty para ho sa mga Muslim Filipinos. Napakahalaga ho ito. Yes. Uh, okay. Thank you for that question. Uh, okay po. Yes. Uh, Sir Mel, no? Yes. Uh, the RA 9997 was enacted by the Legislative Department okay. during the time of the former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Okay. And then this was uh, through the initiative of Senator Juan Miguel Sobili. Okay. So the two persons 
the president which is uh, president Gloria Macapagal Arroyo mga kababayan para ho sa kalaman po ninyo na may dalawang tao ho na nag-inact o oh, oh, inacted okay the uh, the office of the NCMF okay kasama na dito si Senator Miguel Subiri so napakahalagang mga personalidad ho ito that uh, you know give limelight para maging uh, isang director ho kayo tama ho ba yon alam po ninyo i just want to give you know a uh, A short info about uh, our uh, director as we have discussed Although, meron tayong sinasabing uh, uh, data privacy But then, if you allow me to tell them about your about your who you are bilang isang director Siya ho ay isang uh, legal attorney O isang attorney din po by profession Ang atin hong si uh, uh, Director Saleha, mga kababayan kaya ho siya ngayon ay isa ho sa mga director po din ng National Commission on Muslim Filipinos. Hanggang doon lang ho yun. But anyway, ang tabayanan ninyo po ang programang baka maging guest din po si attorney, ang programang uh, Abogado na Bayan every Saturday, alas 10 hanggang alas 11 ho na gumaga, kasama ho natin si uh, attorney Hazel o oh, si Attorney Hayes making uh, na kasing ano din po kasing liwanag kasing bukang liwayway ng sikat ho ng madaling ng, ng umagang araw ang atin hong si Director Saleha Anyway Director uh, please continue doon ho sa ating napag-usapan Yes Sa yes. Republic oh, uh, Act on, uh, yes. 9997 On on your uh, other question, like what is the mandate of uh, yes, uh, NCMF? Okay? okay, the primary mandate of NCMF um, is to preserve and develop the culture, tradition, mm-hmm. institutions, and well-being of Muslim Filipinos in okay. conformity with the country's laws okay. and in consonance with the national unity and development. Okay. So, ayun po ang ating. Um, general mandate but in one of uh, the uh, the NCMF was was composed of eight bureaus okay uh, no i think six bureaus six bureaus yes. okay and then um one in one of its offices the bureau okay. ako po ang head or uh, director ng isang bureau doon okay uh, i am referring to the i am uh, designated as the head of bureau of muslim economic affairs okay under me is the small and medium business trade mm-hmm. cooperative for Muslim cooperative Muslim cooperative and divorce okay. and manpower skills training division okay. and also the promotion and development and the accreditation of the halal certifying bodies okay. um, here in the Philippines okay your work your designation is not that easy kayo ho ay uh, isa sa panulukan para ho ma-develop ang talento ng mga kabataan at aasahan ho nila ang proteksyon ho, particular din ho doon sa mga pagkain kinakain ho natin sa representation po ng pagtatayo ho ng mga, mga, mga farm industry na kailangan ho ay halal ho talaga. You know? ay we have to really be you know, uh, having an education with that dahil marami hong hindi nakakaalam. Pero iisa-isahin ho natin yun. Ha? Uh, yung apat ho ng posisyon na ginagawa ho napakahalaga uh, sa, inyo hong, uh, sa inyo pong mga uh, ginagalaw bilang director po ng, uh, uh, ng isang bureau ho na yun. Okay. Anyway, is it okay? Uh, simulan ho natin. Dahil ito yung pinakamahalaga ngayon, bakit nagsasabi sila pag sinabing halal? Simulan ho natin doon, uh, Director, no? yes. please, okay? Ngayon, naunawaan ho natin, papaano ho naging NCMF? Dahil ho doon sa uh, ginawang in, uh, nag-inact ho ang ating uh, dalawang mga government leaders, okay? So ngayon, ito na ho yung CMF. May mga bureaus na ho sila ngayon na sila po ang responsable para ihain ho sa 15 million uh, Muslim Filipinos kung ano ho ang mga bagay na dapat po nilang ibibigay ho doon sa kanila dahil may mga livelihood din ho yan sila. Isipin ho ninyo, ako nag-iikot ako sa Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao at karabihan ho sa mga sinasabi natin mga negosyante ay mga maranaw, tama ho ba ako? At tausog. Okay, ito sila mga tribal uh, uh, Islamic brethren ho natin. Uh, salam alaikum po sa inyong lahat ho dyan. At may mga sa Metro Manila, marami na rin hong grupo na pupunta dito sa atin. Okay, so anyway, doon tayo sa information ng halal. Dahil yung video ho, na yung picture ho na napapanood ho ninyo, okay, pakiscroll nga, dyan ho sa likuran ho natin ang award ho na ang oh, nabigyan kayo ng recognition sa Saudi because you represent the, the Muslim Filipinos regarding sa, sa halal. 
Okay, so please educate us and tell us more about it. Uh, director, yes. please. In one of the slides were my pictures when I visited um, the in, when I visited uh, Riyadh, Saudi okay. Arabia. Riyadh. Oh. Yes, I was actually born in Saudi Arabia. Wow. Yes, <laughs> uh, but I, I okay. was sent as a representative uh, of the National Commission on Muslim Filipinos. Okay. Um, Are you on that picture? Yes. The pinnacle. Can we see that picture? No, oh, no, no. Um, okay. Okay. So, uh, yung I was sent there as a representative okay. uh, to uh, to attend the Saudi International Halal Expo. Okay. In this expo, this expo actually is a very important sa role mm-hmm. ng, uh, ng especially in the promotion and development of the Philippine halal industry. Okay. Among the exhibitors of the expo mm-hmm. were stakeholders international. Okay. So we are referring to worldwide. Okay. So these are composed of the NGAs and NGOs in different countries. Mm-hmm. In fact, uh, I have uh, met with the Turkish uh, government. Okay. Mandated uh, the, uh, their office for accreditation and halal as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then um, uh, there are a lot of uh, halal certifying bodies who were um, exhibitors at the event. Okay. But I have met among the largest certifying bodies in the whole world, okay. such as the Fambras Halal. Okay. And uh, they are based in Brazil. Mm-hmm. And then there are also um, representatives from the government of Malaysia, uh, America, United okay. States of America, and um, uh, aside from Brazil, Turkey. Um, Mostly uh, countries from uh, Europe. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we are we are gathered in one expo to collaborate. Okay. Okay. okay to collaborate and uh, 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 hopefully, no, we can be partners. Okay. Uh, syempre, may kanya kanya tayong mga uh, what you call this um, programa or adhika eh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sila din ay meron din silang sariling uh, uh, programs okay. uh, on on why did they ch- join the expo? But okay. a- apart from that, the NCMF mm-hmm. uh, the NCMF is actually mandated. Basahin ko lang dahil importante ito. Okay. Uh, pursuant to Republic Act 9997 mm-hmm. or NCMF law, uh, uh, you can find this in Article Two, Section Eight. Paragraph H. Okay. It is the mandate of the NCMF mm. to promote and develop the Philippine halal industry Ayun. and accredit halal certifying bodies or entities for the utmost benefit of the Muslim Filipinos and in partnership or cooperation with the appropriate agencies. Mm-hmm. So we are referring to uh, government agencies here in the Philippines and also individuals, meaning the private institutions mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, uh, who are doing the operations on halal and institutions here and abroad. Okay. So that is the reason why um, I, I, we were invited to, to join the Saudi International Halal Expo. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're, you're saying na itong expo na ginawa ko natin ay uh, ito ay collaboration. So we need to say we are inviting different nations and even different cultures syempre ho na ma-embrace ho nila ang uh, ang uh, halal na sinasabi ho natin dahil the way I understand about halal ay malaki hong uh, protection ho para ho doon sa mga mahilig hong uh, mag uh, mag ano mag uh, serve ng mga pagkain magluto ng pagkain pumasok doon sa mga uh, mga uh, inf, uh, ano, mga uh, farming industry dahil kailangan ho ito ngayon ang nakasaad ho doon sa inyo hong sa Republic Act na to ay napakaimportante na i, ang mandate ay i-implement ang halal okay so this is not particularly sa mga Muslim lang, di ba? Tama po, Director? Okay, but to the entire, uh, uh, para maunawaan nila kung ano ho kayo, para makapag ma-adapt din po nila ito. So give us more a, a clear understanding about halal, please, Yes, uh, Director. Uh, uh, that is a very good question. Dahil okay. hanggang ngayon, no? uh, although that uh, why I have implemented the Halal Awareness mm-hmm, Program mm-hmm. nationwide, um, ang ating um, halal awareness ay kailangan pang uh, ulitin. 
uh, because uh, the understanding mm-hmm. of halal is, I think, a very, still uh, shallow. No? Okay. But halal actually is obligatory to all Muslims. Mm-hmm. When we say halal, it is a sacred word, an Arabic word. Okay, that, means? That, uh, uh, which means permissible by Islamic law. Okay. But um, hindi ito basa-basa ginagamit or nilalagay kung saan-saan. Mm-hmm. Because that is the reason why the NCMF is mandated for accreditation as well as the R18817 or okay. the export of law of the DTI. Um, uh, para po uh, para po sa accreditation ng ating mga halal certifying bodies. Okay. So there is uh, when we say accreditation and certification that it is uh, it is very important that uh, okay. to understand that uh, we have this is this refers to the assurance and security of the consumers. Okay. Um, because um, sabi ko nga kanina halal actually uh, is uh, our understanding to halal majority mm-hmm. if not all uh, pasintabi lang okay. is very shallow mm-hmm. halal means permissible by law but we can we when we say halal we refer to three uh, terms okay when when we speak of halal we there is also haram which haram is, okay which is Um, the opposite of halal, yeah, which means okay. prohibited. Prohibited. Yes. Okay. Uh, and um, in between halal and haram, there is also what we call masbu. Masbu. So uh, uh, to make it clear, uh, halal, masbu, and, and halal. Wow. Yes. Uh, for the first haram. time, my 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 ano mga yes. kababayan, mga kababayan na na nabanggit ito ha. Kasi yes. ako I, I I only understand about Halal. Pag sinabing halal, eh, particular lang tayo dun sa pork, ha? pasensya na ho, dahil uh, gusto lang namin ma-educate po uh, mga kapatiran namin Islam. Okay, you have your director here from CMF that, rep- that represent uh, the Office of the National Commission on Muslim Filipinos. Alam mo, director, mahalaga ito na maunawaan nila. Pag sinabi yung halal, but we have to identify yung mga product ko dyan na naglalagay ng halal, baka hindi ho legal ho yun na inahon, inano ho nila. Ano ho yung pwede natin gawin ho dyan, director? Ano ho magagawa ng opisina ho ninyo for those people or for those company who are using the halal logo at uh, yun ho ang kanilang sinasabi na halal registered ho sila? Okay, please. Uh, isa ho sa mga uh, ginagalawan po ng inyong opisina. Yes, okay. Uh, okay, ang... One of the programs that uh, 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 umpisahan ko lang no Sige, mas please. magandang umpisahan ko sa uh, start mm-hmm. uh, when I assumed office Sige po. Uh, I implemented an action plan okay. para para mag- maging maganda ang take off ng operations ng opisina ko okay po so I I the NCMF through the Commission in Bank created the Regional Halal Programs Management Committee mm-hmm, mm-hmm. W- which is chaired by me. Mm-hmm. And the same was chaired by by vice chaired by the regional directors in okay. all the regional offices, um, and it was membered by the division chief uh, of the socio economic development divisions mm-hmm. and uh, uh, other division chief of the commission. Okay. Now oh. through this uh, committee, we have implemented various programs on halal. Uh, including the uh, development on the surveillance program. Okay. Opa. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what we do was, since we do, we have accredited eight halal certifying bodies already, mm-hmm. so we do the monitoring okay. of those products that they are trying to certify. Okay. And then uh, we, ha- we are in partnership with uh, the DOST, Okay. Dahil sila po ay may isang well-developed na halal laboratory. Mm-hmm. Yes. So we do the monitoring we, and we re-evaluate the halal certifying bodies. We, when there is a complaint about uh, products which are doubtful or masbu. Masbu? Uh, 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 Ibig what, sabihin ang masbu is negative. Doubtful. 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 Uh, uh, okay. Meaning may contamination. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, that is actually the huh? struggle. Kasi... Or when we say halal, it must be authentic. Authentic, okay. At... Kasi y- yun po ang yun po ang tunay na halal. Mm. Hindi po, po pwede ito na maging uh, 
may contamination mm-hmm. uh, or mm, much more if haram ito tapos lalagyan mo ng halal kasi nungalingan na po yun. Okay, so Although hindi pwedeng may... magsama yun, yes, ha? Yung yes. halal at haram. Yes. Kasi pag sinabing haram, prohibited ho yun. Yes. Ipinagbabawal. Yes. Pag sinabi hong halal, ito ho ay uh, uh, aprobado. Yes. Ibig sabihin, ang mga businessmen ho dyan, na mga malalaking corporation that would like to uh, uh, distribute your products, okay, especially to the Islamic uh, uh, area so, Okay, napakalaga ho na ang opisina ho ang National Commission on Muslim Filipinos so the NCMF, lalong-lalo na po sa opisina ni Director Saleha, ay ang opisina po ba ninyo, Director, ang uh, nagbibigay po ng certification or do we have any other agency in the national government, especially uh, sa mga ibang area ho ng Muslim area? Kayo lang ho talaga o wala na pong iba? Okay, um, let for me, the, okay. Uh, let me elaborate on that. Please, okay. Yes. Uh, for accreditation, ang accreditation at certification ay magkaiba, magkaiba. po. Magkaiba. Accreditation yes. and then certification. And certification. Okay. okay, please educate us. We, okay. we accredit the certification, the certifiers. Okay. Certifiers, yes. okay. So, uh, ang acting accreditation, uh, ang NCMF, um, mm-hmm. hindi po siya pwedeng mag-certify. We only do mm-hmm. the accreditation, accreditation. accreditation of okay. the certifying bodies. Okay, that's a good bodies. understanding. Yes. Okay. Ang at the one who does the certification are the private institutions. These who are, are those private institutions? These are the halal certifying bodies that are accredited accredited by the NCMF. Okay. And also, uh, there is an accreditation by law. Okay. Uh, pursuant to RA Republic Act 10817. Uh, the export halal export law okay. uh, which is the DTI pub mayroon po silang sariling accreditation and mm-hmm. standards uh, this applies to um, products or go- goods, goods which are okay. which are um, uh, which, which will uh, go through mm-hmm. export okay uh-uh. intended so, okay but um, the N- on the part of the NCMF uh, we are mandated for the domestic aspect on halal mm-hmm. So those those products for local consumption ang mm-hmm. sinesertify ng mga halal certifying bodies po natin na accredited ni NCMF. Okay. Uh, I have here the copy. I, uh, I just don't know if it is uh, uh, updated. If you can see here with the monitor, the Philippines Halal Certification Body so mga kababayan. Uh, ito yung mga company. Ito yung, it, it, maybe ito yung sinasabi niyo po, madam. Uh, director, uh, kasama ko doon yung Halal International Chamber of Commerce and in Industries of the Philippines. Uh, are they the one also? Uh, yes, yes. Para sa, That's the HISIP. Ah, HISIP, okay. Mm-hmm. Dito ho, Halal Development Institute of the Philippines or HIDIP. HDIP. Okay. Ulama League of the Philippines. Yes, that's okay. right. Okay. Uh, Islamic Dawa Council of the Philippines. Yes. Okay. Muslim Mindanao Halal Certification Board. Okay. Marami pala ito ho. They are, there are 11. Okay. Certification bodies ho na nakatalaga ho na nakakonek ho ito sa National Commission of Muslim Filipinos. Okay. So after uh, uh, accreditation. Okay. So ini-endorse niyo ho ba yon? Uh, director, please. Yes. Okay. Actually, uh, okay. one of the uh, uh, one of the weakness uh, and uh, uh, one of the weakness ng Philippine Halal Industry okay. na nakita ko when I assumed office mm-hmm. uh, for the so we're talking weakness. about the weakness uh, okay uh, weakness. in the promotion and development of the Philippine Halal Industry okay. is that less ang ating certified halal products mm-hmm. and our halal certifying bodies in the private doing the pra, in the private uh, sector ni hirapan po sila to operate especially sa ating mga manufacturers Okay. okay. Because of the lack of assurance. Mm-hmm. Uh, here in the Philippines, in the government structure of the Philippines, okay. um, mas maigi po kapag engage ang government. Mm-hmm. But, of course, what is the mandate or the um, obligation of the private institution, uh, uh, ang dapat nagagawin ni public and private is mm-hmm. that um, magtulungan sila. Okay. So nakita ko less ang uh, certified na halal products at that time. Mm-hmm. So in order for the products na 
kumbaga, mas dumami ang halal products na certified here in the Philippines, we need more, we need to accredit more halal certifying bodies. Because kapag na-accredit sila ni NCMF, there, there, there comes the assurance to okay. our manufacturers, establishments, seeking certi- uh, certification to our halal certifying bodies. Okay, so you're saying, Director, na hindi pwede na itong mga company will go directly to the uh, uh, certification bodies or the nabibigay po ng mga certification. They have to go through your office for you to have an accreditation and endorse it to uh, the Philippine Halal Certification Bodies. Tama ba? Yes. Okay. So, may mga instances na ho ba na may mga dumirekta ho doon or uh, may mga nagpa-accredit na ginagamit na ho nilang accreditation pero hindi ho sila pumunta ho doon sa ano sa opisina ho ng uh, pagbibigay ng certification ng halal. Uh, In your information? Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, medyo vague yung uh, ating question. So, oh. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, bali, uh, si certifying body. Okay. Okay. Um, they certify halal products of the manufacturers. Halal product, okay. Uh-oh, manufacturers natin. Mm-hmm. So, we are speaking of the big players. Big players, Uh-oh. okay. okay. Katulad ng San Miguel, Corporation. Maga pure Foods, mga pure ganun, foods malalaking ganun, company. Oh. Okay. So, oh. ating mga uh, chicken, na uh, poultry. Okay, yes, Uh-oh. okay. So, so nothing. we're talking poultry about, products. Oh, yes, we're talking about big uh, manufacturing companies oh, as well as Here in the Philippines, we are pursuing halal tourism. So mm-hmm. even our hotel providers were seeking halal halal certification, kahit yung kanilang halal kitchen man lang. And then mm-hmm. uh, not only that, um, there are also restaurants uh, uh, who seeks um, certification. Halal. Okay. Uh, okay. So ito po ang ginagawa ng ating private institutions. Okay. Now oh, kapag mm. accredited sila ni NCMF. Okay. Uh, the ma- ang ating mga uh, establishments and mm-hmm. manufacturers um mm-hmm. uh, kumbaga uh, mas may, may mas assured sila. Okay. Hindi sila takot that uh, may may um kumbaga walang security. Mm-hmm. Uh, because uh, ang ating mga establishments importante sa kanila ang kapakanan ng ating mga consumers. Okay. So, i-clear lang ho natin director ano. Yes. So, yung mga big players, ho, mga businessmen that the pro- mga products na sinasabi niyo, so they're seeking for halal certification. But what I'm saying is that uh, before they will receive certification, magagaling muna sa opisina ho niyo na i-accredit. Mm-hmm. No, um, ganito Hindi. po oh, ang, nga, meron nga. po tayong tinatawag na halal certification scam which okay. is already uh, given by uh, meron na ang meron ang lahat ng certifying body niyan meron sila because okay hindi oh. sila po pwedeng ma-accredit ng walang mm-hmm. halal certification scam ang NCMF meron kaming sariling accreditation scam okay okay yes. that's a good so, understanding we okay. don't really We we actually give the accreditation certificate mm-hmm. to the to the halal certifying bodies. Okay. And then the halal certifying bodies now uh, issue the certificates to the uh, establishments. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, I have answered your question. Okay. Uh, so sir, that's very clear. Yes. So kailangan lam po na because you have both different scheme, yes. but if you Uh, i-endorse ho nyo doon sa kanila the same pa rin ho ang, ang ginagampanan natin para gano'n? Yeah, actually oh. um, we at the NCMF would like to implement the 100% authentic halal Authentic halal Yes, okay. because the, the reason why is that coming kanina nga sinabi ko binasa ko kung ano ang general mandate ng NCMF okay. that is oh. to preserve and develop to preserve and develop so the well-being of the Muslim Filipinos. Okay. So how can we preserve the well-being of the Muslim Filipinos without safeguarding kung ano yung kung na makaka, baka mamaya ay makakain sila ng <laughs> masbo or, or masbo. yes or, or haram. Eh, no? oh, oh. Or haram. Uh, <laughs> there is actually a okay. um mm, ver- emphasis on that. Okay. Sa ating uh, mga kababayan who were who were uh, non-Muslims, walang mm-hmm. sanction. Walang problema Pero yun. Pero sa amin, meron. Meron, okay. Yes. 
because our prayer after eating haram mm-hmm. or uh, masbu hindi po ina-accept ang aming pananampalataya or prayer. Ah, ganun po ba yun? Yes. Kasi e so, paano humali? Uh, well, we we talk about the spirituality kasi yes. nakakunik po itong uh, implementation ro natin ng halal lalong-lalo na ho sa Islamic faith ho natin na pag sila ho ay nakakain ng haram. So, papaano ho yun ang paglilinis ho doon sa uh, ating pananampalataya? But that's another side of the story. Pero ang sa atin ho ngayon mga kababayan, naunawaan ho natin ngayon na ang halal ho pala is a 100% authentic uh, way of practicing Islamic food. Okay. Na kailangan ho ma-preserve ho yan. But the way I look at it, I want, you know, maging halal, ano din, uh, maging halal, ano din ako, parang uh, uh, observant. Okay, bakit ka ako? Kahit hindi ho tayo nandyan ho sa, uh, regardless of your denomination, po pwede ho mga kababayan na tayo ho ay, uh, okay, magkaroon po ng uh, clear understanding about this thing halal. Okay, authentic at kailangan ho 100% isinasagawa ho ng ating mga Muslim brethren. Okay? Uh, ang oras ho natin, alas 7.21 na po mga kababayan. We only have few minutes before 7.30 para ho sa aming pagtatapos. Marami ho kaming pag-uusapan. Si, at, si Director Saleha, uh, hindi lamang ito ang first time. Didetalyahin pa ho natin. Nasa halal pa lang ho tayo pag-uusapan. Director, please, uh, educate us more. Okay. Okay. So, ayun nga. Um, sa for, for Muslims, sabi ko nga, uh, halal ang tayiban is obligatory to all Muslims. Okay. When we say halal ang tayiban, it is important na maintindihan po natin lahat. Bakit po ang mga Muslim ay hindi po, bawal po silang bawal po silang mag-consume ng haram mm-hmm, or masbu. Okay. Uh, yun nga po, um, I think for 45 days, hindi po ina-accept ang aming prayer. Ganun katagal? Yes. So, pagdating ng 46 days, ganun palang tatanggapin? Okay. Yes. So, How sure we are? So we just we just have to count the 45 days. That is actually a uh, punishment. That is actually uh, uh, the sanction. Okay. Uh, oh, yung uh, which which is uh, oh. stipulated in the Islamic law. Islamic law. Yeah. Okay. This actually may may I cannot just uh, de- in, uh, re- read in detail yung okay. surah. Okay. But there, but um yun nga po, uh, yun, yun, yun ang main reason kung bakit ang ating mga kapatid na Muslim ay talagang pagka kakain sila, nagtatanong sila kung bakit mm-hmm. uh, kung halal ba ito or okay. wala po ba itong halong haram. Okay. K- dahil kailangan po namin malaman niyon para hindi po kami masanction. Katulad ng sinabi ko po, hindi inaaksin. 45 inaaksip. days ba yes, naman? Yes. Okay. Anyway, Uh, napakagandang usapin ano mga kababayan sa mga nanonood ngayon via Facebook Live po tayo sa Boses na Bayan Bayanihan Broadcast Media Network okay o Bayanihan Broadcast Media at sa YouTube ito ho uh, kunting katanungan lamang po dahil excited ako eh ha? Uh, Director ano ho ba yung mga na-identify ho nating sinasabing haram para ho malaman ng kababayan natin ay hindi pala pwede ito'y offer namin sa kanila what are those haram Okay, maliban sa pork, meron pa ba iba? Okay, uh, yes, uh, alcohol. Please. Alcohol? Yes. Ay paan, al- sandali ikaw ha. <laughs> mga kapapag... <laughs> Chemicalized, okay. Nag-undergo ho ng mga chemical process, ibig sabihin uh, yung mga identified na hindi pwedeng gamitin ay hindi nyo talaga gamitin. So, he- mga kababayan... COVID-19. Lumagana po ang alcohol. Ibig sabihin, hindi kayo pwede doon? Grabe yan, no? Uh, we're, Please. Uh, yes. Uh, we are Grabe. referring to the alcoholic drinks. Okay? I'm referring ba? Yes. Sorry, sorry. But, uh, But well, alcohol meron kasi din, yan. Meron din pong kuan. Uh, I think meron din bawal. Uh, hindi ako, uh, I think, Ah, okay. It, it, it's it's either na. ethanol or isopropyl Actually, alcohol oh, may meron pong kahalo din yan man. eh yes. ang ganun ba kahalo oh. din ho yan doon sa ating ginagamit ho na mga alam nyo ho na yes. po yan okay yes. pero yung sinasabi natin mga beverages alcohol okay haram din po yan alcoholic drinks alcoholic yes. drinks okay yes. okay uh, bawal ho talaga okay yes. so kalimbawa ho yung tuba okay lang alam nyo yung ano yung natural 
Alay ba mo yung natural? Bawal din ho yes. yung to buy wine? Yes. Even if that's organic or natural. Organic, yeah. Yes. So, bawal ho talaga? Bawal ang, yes, ang alcohol because uh, sa Quran, sa Islamic law, pinagbabawal po na makakonsume kami ng first yung hindi maganda. Okay. Uh, kaya mm-hmm. po may mga haram ingredient. Hindi, hindi po pwede po yung may katulad ng alcohol na parang inilalagay di, sa uh, mini mix uh, oh, no no the alcoholic drinks actually okay. yung effect niya the consequence yung parang uh, iba na ang naiisip mo so yun po ang hindi ah, okay oh, oh. so so nahaluan na ho ito ng mga ibang kaisipan na di distort na ho yung ating kaisipan so bawal ho, ho yun ha mga kaibigan na discuss natin okay Aside from alcohol, o mga hinahalo ho yan sa mga beverages o sa mga inumin, mayroon pa ho bang iba, ma uh, director? Uh, those uh, what we call uh, what we call ingredients or which are Ayun. contaminated Mahirap or yun, filthy. Ha? Yes. Okay. Uh, kasi kailangan po pag sinabi natin uh, halal, okay. it must comply with the mass bu- uh, not mass bu- um With the madhabs. Madhabs. Yes. Okay. Now, now that, is the, madhabs. That, okay. that is the standard uh, based on Islamic law. The okay. madhabs. So you're saying, doon sa collaboration na uh, uh, inyo hong na, pinag, dinis, uh, sa discussion no ninyo, kasama na dyan ang mas, ma, ano, mashab. Yung mga ingredients na dapat nung gagamitin ng mga malalaking company para ho doon sa kanilang inidistribute ng mga produkto. So kailangan ho yun. Napakamasailan ho pala na ito, ano ho, uh, director, yes, ano? Yes. Pag kayo ho ay bibigyan ho ng certification o halal certification, abay, kailangan itanong ho yung anong ingredients na inyo ho inilagay ho dyan dahil baka yun ho ay haram. Aba, medyo lumalalim tayo doon ha. Yes. Nalaman ko lang, alam po niyo mga kababayan, mahalaga ho pala na mas maunawaan pa ho natin ang mga ginagawa ho ng National Commission on Muslim Filipinos dahil may mga particular ho sila mga ginagampanan sa kanilang mga bureaus para ho kanilang iserve ang 15 million o more than 15 million ho ng mga Muslim Filipinos brethren yes. ho natin. Sir okay. Mel, uh, adi- yes, please. additional ko lang. Madhabs. No? Yes. Okay. What, uh, what is madhabs? What is madhabs okay, based please. on Islamic law? So when we speak of madhabs, this refers to the 5F. 5F. Halal okay. Supervision Methodology. Okay. Okay. So this is actually what the NCMF and the Halal Certifying Bodies are implementing right now. Mm-hmm. Yung ating mga accredited, lahat po sila dito ay may, uh, um, may, may kasunduan with the NCMF okay. that they will comply with this madhabs. Okay. So when we speak of madhabs, Uh, if followed, this will provide 100% pure halal products. Okay. So number one of the F is free from stunning. Free from stunning. Yes. Okay. And then number two is free from mechanical slaughtering. Mm-hmm. Okay. Number three is free from alcohol. So actually, Ayun. yung alcohol <laughs> ay hindi lang alcoholic drink. Okay, hindi Meron lang intake mga, ha? Yes. Pati kahit, external. Yes, pati okay. yung ating alcohol na pinapahid sa diba, mga I told ay- you, yes. di ba kayo nagtatanong, ang dami kong alcohol sa aking kamay mga kababayan ha? So ano kaya ang meron dyan? Okay, pangatlo. Yung lima ko na yan, uh, Director, hindi ko mo explain sa ngayon. We will let our audience, our kababayan to uh, to follow us, okay? Ibig sabihin, subaybayan po ninyo ang mga ang guesting at mga programa po ng NCMF dito sa Bayanihan Broadcast Media Network Nationwide. Okay, please. Po. Okay, so pang-apat okay. ay ang free from non-Muslim slaughter men. Meaning, okay. kailangan... Ano yun? pure Muslim ang nagsislaughter. So, bawal din ho yung... Alim- balik Islam. Ah, ganun. Okay na. So, kailangan pagtagakatay ho kayo, kailangan balik Islam. Bawal ho. No, kailangan na uh, hindi balik Islam. Kumbaga... Oh, ano? Uh, pure talaga. Pure, sorry, yes. sorry. Kumbaga, since birth, Ah, okay. Pinanganak ka ng Muslim. Yes. Ah, ganun. So, sila lang ang pwede mag-slaughter, ha? Yes. Okay. Ah, ganun. May kulang alam yan. Bakit? Bakit ngayon? <laughs> okay, tuloy tayo. Okay, okay, so number, the last one, the fifth one is okay. free from haram, najis, mm. ingredient, or istihala. As istihala. A means, yes, as a means of looking at haram. 
Uh, ito yung mga dinidiscuss natin kanina, parang natigilan ka, ayaw mo na. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, looking at haram na just ingredients as halal based on the assumption of transformation or consumption. Okay. So ito na yung uh, dinidiscuss natin about contamination. Contamination. So marami hong mga ingredients that... Uh, unidentified when a food is being cooked already hindi na natin alam ho ha mga kababayan kung ano nang mga ingredients na nilagay so kaya kailangan ho yung ang uh, ano yung how and why yung yung, uh, yung ingredients na dapat ay ilalagay ho tama ho ba yon yes yes okay. actually uh, i just want to point out bago tayo mag magpaalam okay, ano okay. one of the uh, most uh, yung kumbaga napakagandang output na nagawa ng NCMF is during pandemic okay we have collaborated with the department of interior and local government okay and they released a memorandum to the local uh, chief executives including the Bangsamoro okay. uh, and all other agencies under the umbrella of DILG to implement that the relief food packs for Muslim communities shall be halal compliant. Okay. Yes. So, Talaga napakalaking naman. tulong po ito dahil lahat ng establishment ay sarado. Mm-hmm. And then, ating mga, at the time, uh, we depend to the ayuda. Ayuda, siyempre. Yes. Okay. So, ang, ang concern ko at that time is that <laughs> okay. when President, the former President uh, Duterte mm. um, directed the uh, directed na ang DSWD to release ayuda sa mga communities, okay. ang concern ko is that what about the uh, Muslim communities? Okay. Baka maserve sila ng hindi... Uh, haram. Baka haram. Uh, oh, oh, Baka oh. haram. So, hindi po sayang naman yung ating ayuda. So, mas maigi na ipagbigay alam natin sa DILG para ma-coordinate ng mas maayos. So, uh, through this um, uh, partnership with the DILG, napakaganda po ng outcome. Naging through all throughout the pandemic, ang ayuda po sa ating Muslim communities ay halal compliant. Okay. Na ano, na ibig sabihin, uh, nabigyan po ng tamang direction ang pamimigay. Yes, yes. Dahil mahirap po kung ano lang ang ipamigay ho nga naman. So, baka mag-45 days ho, uh, hindi ko sila... <laughs> patawa na no. Anyway mga kaibigan, napakasarap pong pag-usapan na ang kultura, ang tradisyon, subalit nag-iisa lamang ho tayo sa batas na ating ginagalawan bilang isang republika ng bansang Pilipinas that we have to obey and follow whatever has been mandated by the law. Okay, sa konstitusyon ng ating bansang Pilipinas. Anyway, Director, baka mayroon ka pang mga babatiin na mga uh, ano ho natin mga kaibigan. And then our last message to the Filipinos, especially the Muslim Filipinos, yes. who are watching right now sa boses ng bayan ho natin. Maraming salamat, uh, Sir Mel. No? Uh, uh, the discussion on halal is very important dahil maigi po na maintindihan ito ng ating mga kababayan uh, as a whole. Uh, okay. Pero nais ko lamang despite the discussion, I was just uh, expounding on the aspect of halal. Uh, but uh, gusto ko lamang uh, ibigay or uh, reiterate that um, halal is for everyone. It is not wow. restricted to Muslims only or mm-hmm. for Muslim consumption. In fact, napakalaki po ng impact ng global halal economy kapag mm-hmm. ito ay ma-implement ng ating national government. So, Um, yun lamang po uh, Sir Mel yes. Uh-oh, maraming salamat po and uh, there's also one uh, pahabol ko lang here in the Philippines um, there there is one book of reference for the first time on halal okay okay so this is the book on global halal economy authored okay. by Uh, now, the chairperson of the officer in charge, chairperson mm-hmm. of the Commission on Filipino Overseas, the, uh, uh, he is Under Secretary Abdel Ghani Makatoman. Wow. He is the former chairman of the Halal Board of the Department of Trade and Industry. Okay. So he came up with the Global Economy Book. So sa mga naghahanap po ng book of reference, uh, yun, uh, yun po ang available po natin for today. Okay, maybe we can have that copy yes. of that book, ano, uh, yes. director, para for references and uh, para sa mga discussion na kailangan nun natin because uh, I am too serious, okay, para ho pag-usapan nun natin, lalong-lalo na ho, okay, ang mga kapatiran nun natin uh, sumasaklaw ho sa Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, okay, yung uh, mga Bangsamoro kapatiran nun natin, the BARM, okay, 
na ito ho ay counterpart ng National Commission on Muslim Filipinos eh si kaya lang doon lang sila sa Mindanao. But the NCMF is a national office of the national government intended okay, to pursue the mandated programs na para ho doon sa mga Muslim Filipinos sa natin. Anyway, binabati ho muna natin ang ating DLG Secretary Benhur Abalo, sir, mapagpalang gabi ho sa inyo. At siyempre ho, ang National Chairman po ng KBL, kilusan bagong lipunan, ang atin hong Presidente din po ng Bayanihan CIA, Citizen Information Assistance, at siyempre ho ang Bayanihan Broadcast Media Network Nationwide. Kami ho ay nagpapasalamat sa inyo, Director. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Okay, kagalakan. The pleasure is mine. Oh. Actually, ako dapat magpasalamat. <laughs> At uh, uh, mayroon tayong uh, inimbitahan niyo ako okay. na, na, na ilahad natin kung ano ang mga concerns ng ating Muslim Filipinos. Okay. Uh, dahil importante din po, parte din po kami ng uh, Pilipinas. Okay. Remember, ang nabanggit po ninyo kanina, halal is for everyone. And we are all Filipinos to embrace each other's problem. Tayo ay may kanya-kanya mga problema pero dapat to tayo nagdadamayan at nagtutulungan. Ito na po ang papel ng Bayanihan CIA. Magsama-sama ho tayo para sa pagbabago ng ating bansa. O mga to ang bawat estado ng ating mga kababayan ang kanila mga pamumuhay. Maging Muslim ano tayo o maging Kristiyano tayo isang lahi na dapat to ay nagkakaisa. Maraming salamat to sa inyo mga kaibigan. Ito ho si Mel de la Cruz. Ang alam po ni Benny Malik Dem at sa ating bisita na si direct, NCMF Director uh, Saleha, uh, maraming salamat to sa inyo. Kagalakan nun namin ang salat ho na bumubuo na Bainham Broadcast Media sa ating ho mga BBM reporters at sa ating ho mga staff at uh, sa engineering sa technical. Ito po kami, itong programang Boses ng Bayan, Mel de la Cruz at nagsasabing naway pagpalain ho kayo ng puong may kapal mapagpalang gabi sa inyong lahat. <music>